This is a great little set, but how do I know what parts go to it? I'm lucky enough to have an instruction manual, but you may not be lucky enough to have one. You can easily complete it with some pretty basic parts. If you have a huge pile of Lego, it's old. I'm going to show you how to print out a uh, sheet, a checklist sheet. I get a qu this question a lot, so I'll show you here. So you can go to any web browser and just type in the set number 6698. And then type in the word rebrickable and hit enter. And it's going to pull it up here. There's a couple ways to get to this point. You can just go to rebrickable.com. Here it is. And in the search bar, you can do a 6698. But it does give you a bunch of stuff. Um, and you got to go down to sets. There it is. And here's the instructions we have here in front of me. And it says there's multiple inventories, so take it for what it is. We're not really worried about that. We're just trying to gather the parts. So there's this uh, export parts drop down here. And you can change the version here if you want. So I don't know what's the difference. It has 125, 125. So version 2 is probably the most up to date, I would imagine. Uh, anyway, I don't... I don't know what any of these do. There's a brick store file you can make. It, obviously it says what they do, but I don't, I've never touched any of these except HTML grid. So export parts, you click on the, the down arrow. HTML grid. Give it a moment to figure out what it wants to do. Or try it again, because maybe it didn't register what I was doing. It did not register. So there we go. And it brings you this, and you got to make sure if it's a bigger set, you got to scroll all the way down and make sure all these load, all these pictures load. Sometimes you go to print it, and then half the page won't have anything. <laughs> It'll you'll have the picture. So this is what we have now, and we just want to print this, and you kind of got to look at the preview or mess around with the, um, got to make sure it's in color. If it's more than one page, sometimes some of these quantities will be cut onto the next page. So you got to mess with that. But this is all one page, so that is nice. And I just send it to my printer, and uh, it's going to print. One thing about it, I don't have, uh, or it doesn't, it doesn't have the set number on the, on the, sh the printout. Uh, it may very well have it somewhere on when you print things out, but it doesn't even have it in the, uh, in the web uh, address anywhere. So. That's probably something that, so I always have to write it on the top of my pages of what set number it is. And there we go. And you can landscape it, whatever you want. Portrait, we do the portrait here, so 6698. That's what I always write, and if it's more than one page, I'll do it dash one, dash two, dash three. So I know which the order of the pages. So. And the great thing about this too, it has the part number, so I usually have a highlighter, and as I go through, um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go through it right now. I'm just gonna check all these off. Because this is actually already done. I'm gonna show you what's not done. So so here we go. We need that one. All done. Um not done. This is the piece I need here. So I'll highlight that. And all done, all done, all done, all done. And sometimes I'll write, need two parts. Here he is. Not sure where his helmet goes. Where is, oh, it goes in the back. So we actually need two of those. So we need one for the back, one for there, and then we need this space controller thing that goes, it's like a part of the trailer right there. So, and I'm gonna go put my bag this up and put it in my waiting for parts area with all the other Lego sets that I'm waiting for parts in. And, and I get a brick like order and it has a part, then I will go ahead and mark it off. Once I know it's completed, then it's complete. I'll double, usually I'll double verify it unless they're built like this. I just sell them like this. So, that is how you do it on Rebrickable. That's our process we use for completing used Lego sets.
a nice little set. Makes me want to go out on the lake. In a boat. Back it in. Some friends.